people. I think that your atheism betrays your own lifestyle. I think you're living in the world like you're God's creation, but you're denying him with your atheism. And I, I would encourage you to investigate that. Because otherwise, look, look, um, Tyler, 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 you're gonna be, you're gonna be in the position where you're gonna go, for me, altruistic behavior. And the guy comes along and goes, but for me, right now, it's hurting you. And then you say, but you can't hurt me. He says, why not? Because for me, it's altruistic behavior. He says, but for me, it's hurting you behavior. And then what I'm saying is, there are people like that. In the world. I know there is, but is that evil? Again, relative to me, that right. is evil. But, but to if him, he, if that's he, fine. If he hurts you, I would like to. I would snap him back. Okay, but <laughs> because because he's offending you in some way, is he hurting you in some way? Do you have some value or dignity? He's he's hurting. With well, your the atheism, the nerves that with, flow through my body. Yeah, I know it, it may be painful. May pain. I mean, it may be painful, but I don't is have it, a dignity that he's hurting. Right. So you have no value. Yeah. Yes. You do or don't? I do not have value. I'm irrelevant to the universe. I'm just a speck of dust. Okay. So ultimately, your evil, your atheism. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Your atheism <laughs> leaves you with no basis for good or evil, and it leaves you with no value and no dignity. Yes. And that's what's true. Yes. Thank you for being consistent. I think you're trying to be consistent, but I, I, here's what I'm going to say to you. I don't think that you'll live that way. I think you'll, you both will live in the world betraying what you just said because I think that you know him. But you're living, trying very hard to suppress that because you're going to walk away in a minute and guess what you're going to do? You're going to eat food today. You're going to love your friend. She's going to love you back. You're going you're gonna to drink water. You're going to take care of friends. You're going to pay your bills. You're going to live as though you have value and dignity and worth and that others matter too, but your atheism will deny that all of your life. So I would just encourage you, ultimately my call is just turn, turn to Christ and trust in Him, because when you do, not only is there forgiveness and salvation, but there's a basis for science and logic and morality and all the things you live according to.